so we are losing there from disconnected red supply line and uh, ductus uh, tiller supply valves should close before uh, 20 psi okay so supply valve close at around uh, 60 psi which is working good so i'm going to start my truck and let's build the pressure I'm just gonna go outside and uh, reconnect my red supply line, make sure my brakes are applied and idle up. Okay, so next thing I'm gonna do my blue line test. So I'm just gonna go and about 90 psi. I'm gonna release my supply line and uh, it's gonna go out and disconnect my blue service line, which we're gonna check our tractor protection valve. Just gonna check, make sure my brakes are applied again. So this is my uh, blue service line, take it off here and leave it here. So as soon as I come in and I'm just going to release my tractor spring brake and build the maximum pressure. So once we reach the maximum pressure, I'm going to shut down my engine. Right now my both walls are in. Okay, so I just hear my air dryer shoot out. We reach maximum pressure. Just gonna shut off my engine here. And uh, just put the ignition back on so I can see my gauge here again. And I'm gonna press and hold my foot brake right there. Press and hold. As we see, we are losing the pressure from the, we're losing the air from disconnected blue line and the uh, tractor protection valve should close before 20 psi and my both button yellow and red should pop out okay so my Tractor production wall is closed at around uh, 30 psi, which is good, just above 20 psi, which is good. So, uh, I'm gonna build the pressure again, and uh, once I reach 90 psi, I'm gonna apply my hand wall and uh, make sure we should not lose the air from the disconnected blue service line. That means my tractor protection wall is closed and working fine. Okay, so let's build the pressure and uh, do this at 90 psi. So 
So we reached 90 psi and I'm just going to release, uh, apply my hand wall and I hear no air leaks from or you know release from the blue service line that means uh, you know my my tractor protection wall is closed and working fine. So yeah we are here we are done with the red uh, blue red and blue line the next one we are going to do our air leak test. So I am just going to go outside and reconnect my blue service line just going to check my breaker applied just go outside now and build the pressure. Okay, so for the air leak test, I make sure my release my both spring brake in and then now build the maximum pressure and then I'm going to ignition off, shut off my engine. Okay, so we reach the maximum pressure. I shut up my engine. Timer. Okay, so just gonna leave my ignition on and uh, press and hold my brake for uh, one minute and we should not lose uh, more than four PSI. So I'm just gonna apply my foot pressure at the maximum and start my time and uh, right there just give some maximum pressure here just watch my gauges here we're not losing any air as the application gauge here we put the maximum pressure Okay, so we already uh, passed the half, half minute about 30 seconds and uh, we still not leaking any air and uh, keep holding the pressure and my gauge are not move at all. Okay, so look like a one minute has passed. It's the one minute and we didn't lose any PSI, which means my system is holding good pressure. Okay, so I'm gonna start my truck and I'm gonna do my next test. The next test will be uh, my six pack and to perform, uh, to adjust my automatic slug adjuster. Since uh, this truck and trailer we have automatic slug adjuster, to adjust them we just press that brake pedal uh, six times and each time the pressure has to be over 90 psi. Just now ensure my both yellow and red should be in and truck should be running okay so we reach maximum pressure 
and I'm gonna apply my first break with my foot and still 90 psi still and 3 it's still over 90 psi so I'm gonna do it again let the pressure build at maximum That's four, five, and six. Okay, so we adjust our automatic clock adjuster. The next one we'll do our push rod travel. So, just gonna leave my pressure between the hundred and ninety psi, and uh, make sure my both uh, spring brake car red and yellow should be in and shut up my engine just, just leave the, my ignition on to check my gauges i'm just gonna you know mark my my push rod with my chalk so i'm gonna show you which one is outside So right here that's my brake chamber and this is a push rod and every time we press the brake the push rod comes out. I'm going to mark it here, chuck right here, you know, where, where just enter the push rod in the brake chamber. And help of my body, I'm going to apply my, my foot uh, or like, you know, with my brake body and let's see how much it comes out. So I'm gonna get my measurement tool. Can you place the, place the brake for me please? Okay, so we apply at about 90 PSI uh, and as I see, Uh, my bridge uh, push rod comes out around inch and quarter so that's uh, within the limit uh, what we have in the front we have type 20 brake chamber with the with a short stroke push rod this push rod is short stroke and the push rod comes out maximum of 1.75 inches and the drive axle and the trailer axle, uh, we have type 30 brake chamber, it's a dual brake chamber with a short stroke push rod and uh, that push rod comes out around uh, 2 inches and if the long stroke then about 3 inches, 2 and a half or 3 inches. So that's my and on the same axle we should not have a difference on a measurement other side not more than quarter inch. And I will check all my brake chamber the same way I just checked here and the verify with the manufacturer specification. So next thing I'm going to do and take my brake body out uh, for the and I'm going to start my truck here. I'm going to set my brake. Now close my hood. and uh, take my block out too. Okay, so take my block out. 
my hood is closed and I'm gonna do my tuck test so I ensure that I make sure I put my seat belt on to do the tuck test Yeah, I know. Come, come in. Okay. Just tread my wheel. And I'm going to check one by one, you know, my brakes. The first I'm going to check my, release my spring brake on a tractor and checking my my trailer spring brake so gently put that in a D and give some gas okay it look like my spring brake is holding properly now switch it apply my spring brake on a tractor so tractor spring brake also holding properly and I'm gonna apply my trailer service brake and the trailer service brakes also holding properly just gonna move up about uh, feet and apply my foot brake and my brake response is good take up my foot and apply my brakes here and put that in a neutral and this is end of my brake test thank you for watching